Hey everybody, it's another mini awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this uh, cold, cold, cold Friday, March 6, 2015 in Pittsburgh, PA. Today we're going to talk about places that are even colder than what it is here, actually. The Verge reporting that a NASA probe is orbiting a dwarf planet for the first time ever. Uh, they go into this about how uh, uh, planets like, uh, in this case, Ceres, um, and uh, Vesta is another one that they, they already took a look at, um, according to this. It, but this is more in the asteroid belt, belt. These are considered dwarf planets. Apparently, according to this, they were on their way to becoming a planet this, the way that Pluto has. It had been classified and unclassified. Um, but I guess we're uh, screwed up by the uh, gravitational pull of, of Jupiter. And I guess they, they, they find themselves between Jupiter and Mars, uh, if you want to get some solar system geography going there. Um, this is really interesting because this is something that's not a planet. This is something that's, that's you know, um, you know, different than just sending something to Mars uh, and actually a little further if, if, if I'm if I'm correct um, this is an exciting time if you're you're like me grew up uh, kind of in the uh, uh, shadow of the space race nothing was really happening we of course you know in the 80s I mean I think things were kind of slowed because of uh, the challenger uh, around around the mid 80s uh, and uh, it, it's really interesting to, to see uh, some of these coming to fruition that, that, you know, we are getting probes out there. We are getting these images. We are investigating uh, the rest of our solar system around us. And it's going to be slow going before we get to the science fiction future that we're all looking for, of course. But these are the steps. And, and, and every time you see a story like this come out, it seems like we're getting this after so, so little. It, it seems like, you know, we're getting stories like this all the time about, you know, probes landing on Mars and, and with the images coming back. They did a Google map uh, street view of what they found on Mars, you know, or, or like the little bit that they've gone through there. And that's that's amazing. You know, we're, we're, we're seeing different worlds, you know, if not through, you know, if only through digital eyes, but still. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, there was going to be a law there because they had to launch all these probes and, and start getting information back from them. And they had to get where they're going, right? And, and I think we're still launching probes here and there um but you know that's a large time investment and now it's starting to pay off and it's really cool that that we get to see um this kind of stuff come through and yeah it seems like it's just a giant rock but you never know you never know so what do you think of the current state of the space race of our exploration of the stars or at least our solar system i guess uh let us know here on the youtube comments uh youtube.com slash in awesomecast get all the links over at awesomecast.net and please let us know on twitter at awesomecast or find us on facebook and google plus as well and we'll see you guys next time have a good weekend this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com